All right, in this uh, little short video, we're going to learn how to check division problems by casting nines. It's an old process that um, is unfortunately not taught anymore. It's uh, really a quick way to check handwork, and uh, I hope I explain it clearly here to you. Okay, review if you haven't seen my other videos on the process of casting nines. We are going to start with the number 47. And we're going to throw away as many 9's out of it as we can. So you can see I subtracted 9 to get 38. Take away another 9, you get 29. Take away another 9, you get 20. Take away another 9, you get 11. Take away another 9, you get 2. And we've finally boiled it down as far as we can. So when you cast all the 9's out of 47, you get a remainder of 2. And uh, there's a quicker way to do that. Method two, all you do is add the digits. So we're going to get this two here in a minute. Four plus seven gives 11. And that's still bigger than nine. So add the digits again, and you get the two. So that was much faster. And on bigger numbers, that's the way to go. Add the digits. And if you get a number that's bigger than nine, add the digits until you don't get a number that's bigger than nine. Uh, your answer when you cast 9 should be one of the following digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8. The biggest value you should get when you cast 9s is 8. In this case, 47 gives 2. Alright, you can uh, take a shortcut, and this is important to know. And uh, I call it method 3, but it's just a jump start on method 2. Any, comp um, any combination of digits that add up, uh, adds up to 9, for instance, in this first problem, 6 and 3 add up to 9, can be ignored. So we're going to ignore the 6 and the 3. Likewise, 5 and 4 add up to 9, so they can be ignored. So if you took the trouble to subtract all of the 9s out of 62,345, you would end up with 2. The casted nines version of that long number is just 2. Uh, you could also say the remainder when you divide by 9 is 2. All right, another example of this. Um, in this case, we're going to look for triplets. One way to do it would be 1, 4, and 4. Those add up to 9, so I could cross those off. Instead, I'm going to cross off the 6, the 1, and the 2. Those add up to 9. And now method 2 kicks in. We're going to add the remaining digits. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. And add those digits, and you get a 3. So the casted 9's version of 614,244 is just the number 3. Okay, now let's turn the corner and figure out how to check division. And then we're going to apply this these skills to that uh, method. Okay, here's a division problem, a small one. 33 divided by 7 is 4 with a remainder of 5. Uh, generally speaking, the way you want to check these is you want to take your quotient times your divisor which in this case would be 28 add the remainder 28 plus 5 is 33, and it should equal your dividend. So you go in this big circle, you multiply first, and then add. So 4 times 7 plus 5 would add up, uh, would end up being 33. And we know because of that that this problem is done correctly. Now the little formula here that I've been alluding to is written down here. Okay, you take the quotient times the dividend, I'm sorry, times the divisor, and you mul you add the remainder and you should get the dividend. It's a big circle here, and so let's apply this, but this time we're going to put casting nines in the mix. All right, we're going to take this quotient and multiply it by the divisor, add this remainder and see if it equals that original dividend. So the casted nines version this time. Okay, six and three are gone, that's a four. 
Uh, 7 and 2 are gone because they add up to 9. That's a 6. Uh, 5 and 8 add up to 13. But those add up to 4. So that's a 4. You add the digits. And now let's see if this works here. Actually, let's check out the uh, well, multiply the quotient times the divisor would be 24. So add those and you get 6. Notice that I'm always casting 9's as I go. 6 plus 4 is 10. Cast 9's out of it and you end up with 1. So now let's see if we get a 1 up, 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 up here. Uh, let's see what I'll cast. The 2, the 2, and the 5 add up to 9. 3, 7, and 0 add up to 10, and you can see we're going to get that same 1 there. So this problem was done correctly. And uh, you can do a lot of this in your head. Um, so let's check, let's check out another problem here. I have one set up. Okay, the casted 9's version of the quotient. Let's see, 1 and 8 disappear, 4 and 5 disappear, so that's just a, a 6. And 6 and 8 add up to 14. But 14, when you add the 1 and the 4, give 5. 6 times 5 is 30. So we add those digits and we get 3. Uh, these digits down on the remainder add up to 3. So when you add here, remember you have to add the remainder, you get 6. So let's check this out and see if we get 6 up here. Okay, pairs that cast. Um, well, I see a 3 and a 6 right away. And if you add 4, 4, and 1, that adds up to 9. So we're going to cast that. And 6 and 0 add up to 6. So since there's agreement here, we know we did that problem correctly. Okay, let's do one where there's a mistake. And I've got the mistake highlighted here. Um, I, did, I made a mistake on that subtraction that's in yellow there. 112 minus 85 is actually 27, not 37. So let's see if our method catches this mistake. All right. On the quotient up here, 7, 1, and 1 disappear. You get a 4. And 8 and 5 over here add up to 13. But the 13, when you take away 9 from it, gives 4. And we're supposed to multiply those. So that's 16. Add the digits here and you get 7. Okay, these digits down here add up to 4. 7 plus 4 is 11. Remember, you have to add the remainder. And taking away 9 gives 2. Let's see if you get 2 up here. 6, 2, and 1 cast. The remaining digits, 0, 4, and 6, add up to 10. And when you add those digits, you get a 1. So there's a disagreement here. We've got a 1 and a 2. There's obviously something wrong with this problem. So I've got it redone down here, and it's fixed. So we're going to see if it checks now. Okay, I'll do this quickly here. 7, 1, and 1 add up to 9. 8 and 5 add up to 13. 13, when you take away 9 from it's 4. Multiplying here gives... 12. So when you add the digits, you get 3. This remainder down here adds up to 7. So 3 plus 7 is 10. Add those and you get 1. And now up here, uh, let's do the 6, 2, and 1 disappear. The remaining digits add up to 10. And now it checks. Okay, so that's how you check division with casting nines. It's a little bit more complicated than checking uh, the other three operations, add, subtract, and multiply. Um, but it's worth doing because it gives you a quick way to check your answers. Now understand that um, when you're actually doing it, um, it's going to be faster than me sitting here and explaining in detail every step. Um, it does take practice, but I'm going to encourage you to do it because it gives you an effective way to see if your answer is right. Other than the uh, standard way, which is redo the problem, and then if they disagree, redo it a third time. So um, very effective, very quick, 
and once you catch on you can do this without even writing stuff on the paper you just keep track of it in your head all right so i hope this helps you and um, uh, good luck with it